The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of Ezekiel. Now you say, what the Lord does is unjust. Now listen, house of Israel, is what I do unjust? Is it not what you do that is unjust? When the upright abandons uprightness and does wrong and dies, he dies because of the wrong which he himself has done. Similarly, when the wicked abandons wickedness to become law-abiding and upright, he saves his own life. Having chosen to renounce all his previous crimes, he will most certainly live. He will not die. And our response is taken from Psalm 25. Direct me in your ways, Yahweh, and teach me your paths. Encourage me to walk in your truth and teach me since you are the God who saves me. For my hope is in you all day long. Such is your generosity, Yahweh. Goodness and faithful love have been yours forever, Yahweh. Do not forget them. Hold not my youthful sins against me, but remember me as your faithful love dictates. Integrity and generosity are marks of Yahweh, for he brings sinners back to the path. Judiciously, he guides the humble instructing the poor in his way. And our second reading from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Philippians. So if in Christ there is anything that will move you, any incentive in love, any fellowship in the Spirit, any warmth or sympathy, I appeal to you. Make my joy complete by being of a single mind, one in love, one in heart, and one in mind. Nothing is to be done out of jealousy or vanity. Instead, out of humility of mind, everyone should give preference to others, everyone pursuing not selfish interest, but those of others. Make your own the mind of Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not count equality with God something to be grasped, but he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, becoming as human beings are. And being in every way like a human being, he was humbler yet, even to accepting death, death on a cross. And for this, God raised him high and gave him the name which is above all other names, so that all beings in the heavens on earth and in the underworld should bend the knee at the name of Jesus, and that every tongue should acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord, to the glory of God the Father. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus asked, what is your opinion? A man had two sons. He went and said to the first, my boy, go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not go, but afterward thought better of it and went. The man then went and said the same thing to the second, who answered, certainly, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did the father's will? They said, the first. And Jesus said to them, In truth I tell you, tax collectors and prostitutes are making their way into the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you, showing the way of uprightness, but you did not believe him. And yet the tax collectors and prostitutes did. Even after seeing that, you refused to think better of it and believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord.